Hello again. Um, I'm here with uh, an example of general plane motion using what we call relative motion method and applying it to a velocity uh, analysis. So, uh, as you know, general plane motion uh, refers to a rigid body uh, that is going through combination of translation and rotation. So the body at the same time is translating and rotating. So let's say we have a bar. Uh, say we have a bar let's say the bar is horizontal right we'll darken this for you say the bar is has so uh, you know a certain length i'm going to call the two points point a and b say the bar is three feet long right and suppose um uh, velocity of a is given so given say uh velocity of a to be uh say five feet per second and it's acting like this where the slope is say 3 over 4 so you can break it into components easily so let's say this is velocity of a right and suppose we are also told that omega of the body is say 2 radians per second at this instant and this body is rotating uh, clockwise with this omega right so uh, imagine now this rigid body AB at this instant when AB is horizontal, right? So it has reached this uh, particular instant. And we know velocity of one point and we know omega of the body. We should be able to then find velocity of any point on the body, say velocity of B. Okay, so how do we do this? So this is what I want to show you. This is called the relative motion analysis. First of all, we know that velocity of B relative to A by definition of relative velocity is VB minus VA. So if you go ahead and rearrange this equation and solve for velocity of B, that becomes velocity of B called velocity of A plus velocity of B slash A means velocity of B relative to A. Now in this equation, actually, this is the translation part of the motion. So that means if you add translation of A, and this part is the rotation. And this is the important part of the, uh, the equation. This means, VB slash A means rotation about point A. So what it means, it says, okay, go ahead and find velocity of B as if A is fixed. So if I draw this bar for you at this instant, right? This is our bar. If I make A fixed, we know A is not fixed, but if A was fixed, right? And this bar was rotating with an omega like that. Remember, this bar is three feet. What would be velocity of this point relative to the fixed A? So we know that in pure rotation, so this is a pure rotation situation. So velocity of B slash A now, velocity of B as if A is fixed, would be R omega. R is three feet and omega is two, so that becomes six feet per second. And look at the direction of it. It has to be 90 degrees to the radius and in the direction of omega, so it's pointing down. So now go ahead and plug it into the equation. So if you now say velocity of B is equal to velocity of A plus VB slash A, basically I'm rewriting the equation here. So velocity of B becomes velocity of A, which is five feet per second, going up like that with a slope of three over four, plus VB slash A, which happens to be six. If you go ahead, break that five into a, four to the right and a three up and then remember you have a six down due to that vb slash a so this becomes four to the right and three down which actually becomes uh, actually velocity of b becomes uh five feet per second the magnitude becomes five feet per second and look at the direction it's pointing like that so actually what i'm saying is that now velocity of b at this instant should be something like this five feet per second and it has a slope of as you could see the run of four and a rise of three okay so i hope uh, this has made sense to you i will come back later on and i'll show you pretty much using the same relative motion uh, approach and apply to acceleration thank you for watching and listening